Hi there, Frankie for premium members for the trading day of October the 11th, 2024, a Friday. No new information on the charts. We should be long one way or the other. Doesn't really matter. The sensible stops are below the last pivot, the major lows, which is right here around 5,700. Remember when the target was 5,700 in the good old days, and now we putting the stop under 5,700. This is just how it goes. For our chart, a little spiky, but it's a viable bull flag in any case. And the other three strongly correlated markets, of course, are strongly agreeing with this. And uh, actually, I should have put a little note here. Lesson. Oh, it's right there. Okay, there's a couple of charts you should check out, please. There's some important lessons, and this is one of them. This is how a pattern fails. Remember at the time, October something, three, we said we're not interested in trading this to the short side because we're expecting a failure of this bear flag. A couple of days later, this failure is the one that built the, blue, the bull flag for us, and that triggered us into the long. Okay, so this is just how the various time frames work together and how we can anticipate moves based on lower time frames and project them onto a pretty healthy move now on the daily time frame. We don't know the future. It just happens so often that we learn with time. Look at this YM. Same story. The daily has triggered algorithmic sig signal. Sensible stop would be somewhere below this area. We don't want to be in the battle zone. And there's no money or no profits without risk. So this is just how it works. Okay, and RTY, interesting. What could become, of course, we do not know, and I don't claim to know the future, obviously. But this very much looks like a failure test at this time. Look at the daily chart. It reached out again, reached down again, just to test if anybody is still there. And then we are bouncing back. Nothing really else. GC and SI are doing their usual thing. There's another bull flag on GC. It's already moving. Look at that. This is another lesson here. Two, three days ago and two, three videos ago, we said that if it reaches out and then bounces back sharply, then it, that's a very bullish sign. This is exactly what's happening. This is a lesson. When there's a range bound market, Sometimes we go, we do one thing first before we do the other. That seems to be an example of that. And the daily time frame is a beautiful bull flag. SI is, what can we do? I think it's evolving on the weekly chart. In my mind, it was always a weekly trade. There's not much we can do. But again, we can be witnessing a, we could be witnessing, we don't know for sure, a failure of the lows and the failure of this bear flag, especially since it fits nicely into the bull flag on the daily chart. Okay, so if you don't want to worry about all these complications, just remember that I'm bullish on both GC and SI, and it's worth looking for opportunities on, let's say, the daily time frame. In the case of the SI, something like this. We already have the signal we could have another one. Doesn't really matter. This market is likely to go up. We know enough about this market already. And GC is obviously going up as we speak. So indexes and two precious metals. That should be enough for a Friday. Let's see what happens. We'll be back in the morning. And until then, mindful trading.